hey guys welcome back to my channel so today is not a regular video it's actually gonna be a quick little get ready with me kind of i don't know i honestly just turned on the camera and i didn't really have a plan it's sunday i'm bummy I'll talk to you guys and because i've been bored honestly but let's start off by applying some skincare so another reason I didn't really want to film a make a video is because I don't have my nails done. But let's go to this. So chapstick of today, hemp stick by Experience CBD in the bubblegum flavor. For all my um <coughs> for 20 dollars. Uh you can kind of taste feel a cannabis and it's so weird. It's awesome though, you guys. Oh my god, I'm gonna post a picture of it, but this morning, y'all, I, oops, woke up with big old lips, I'm gonna put it right here, but I woke up with some crazy stuff, and the thing is that, um, so this is what happened, let me tell you guys what happened to me this weekend, I'm gonna go ahead and put my face real quick, too, because, look, mm -mm. I was cooking dinner, I'm literally simply cutting up the potatoes and cutting up the basic chips. I went to go put in like the potatoes and the the hot oil like popped and it hit my like hands like kind of sprayed out over my hand so all of a sudden um I start getting itchy like I start getting really itchy on my hands we ate everything's fine whatever and then I'm like sitting down for a smoke session later that evening and like this um the itchiness on my hands is not going away like it's still there it should not like i do have sensitive skin sometimes but should not be doing this i get a little worried but whatever like i'm just thinking like oh whatever like maybe i'm just really dry because recently my hands were peeling from um from getting my nails done um and when i soaked them in acetone they kind of peeled because it was in acetone for so long um, i started getting like these like marks that are like um they look like burn marks like you know when it's white um, but it's like all like blotchy and they're like patches and it's like I'm like I don't remember getting burnt like this like I did I, it, it was not this bad like you know what I mean like I, I have a high pain tolerance I just go straight to sleep because I was in like a lot of like pain slash discomfort from that itchiness on my hands so I go to sleep right wake up the next morning my hands are super super swollen i could not move my thumb um this thumb i could not move it like at all like, i could literally only do this so i'm just like kind of freaking out a little bit because i didn't want to go to the doctor or didn't want to go to the hospital or anything they tell my sister and i tell my grandma they say oh we'll just take some medicine take some anti-inflammatory whatever, whatever and maybe it's like something wrong with you like maybe you know you need to cut back on salt or who knows what right no i'm just drinking hella water uh, ibuprofen and it starts getting better yeah, but i didn't expect to have to need it after that right because i would just think it'd be gone um but i was wrong my skin's still itchy my arms are getting itchy now i go to the bathroom where i'm just kind of observing everything i'm like okay, what the f it might be like i'm dealing with the burn weird chemical side or something and i'm dealing maybe i'm dealing with like a chemical burn it still didn't sound right with me been burned before you know i've had lots of burns before and this has never happened to me i'm like, okay what did i have all day have i changed anything my routine doesn't go down i'm going to go to the doctors or go to the hospital think about it and i'm thinking what did i have yesterday that you know i don't normally have maybe or maybe anything that kind of like maybe wouldn't normally just like sit good with my stomach and i thought about it and i realized that while i was cooking um my friend that i'm talking about she offered me some pork rinds some spicy pork rinds like the kind of you get at the gas station i ate some like i ate a lot like i ate like a good portion of the bag that's when i started getting itchy that's when and i'm like oh that's so weird but it's because my whole hand was in reaching into the bag I'm like you know what maybe i have an allergic i mean we had an allergic reaction to the pork rinds i don't ever eat pork rinds like i eat i've eaten like chicharrones um like the actual meat one that is like you know made out of meat um, and made at home like cuban recipe because it's not very great for you and it kind of gives me like stomach problems sometimes 
all meat kind of. That was the only thing that I don't really have. And the only time I've ever used to have pork rinds was like when we would go to the lake, and even then was just a few times a year. The pork rinds are not a part of my diet at all. What's the only thing that I ate differently? It's like an allergic reaction, but you're not like really allergic allergic to it. It's kind of like you're intoxicated by it. Um, so I think that is probably what like happened. But you guys, it was so bad. I was getting hives on my arms. So that's when I finally went to, to the pharmacy to get some like actual, actual medication because I'm not really, you know, I'm not really a fan of like medicine like that. Like I'm telling to kind of just tough it out. Um, I don't take pain. I don't take pain pills for my period. I don't do any of that. I started getting hives all over my arms, um, and it started going to my knees. I mean, maybe I'm just psyching myself out, and I'm causing this stuff. You know, I go to the pharmacy finally. I get the Benadryl. I get the cortisone cream too, and I immediately put that on my arms, on my hands, and. I'm like, and then I continue my day, and then I take some Benadryl as soon as I eat. An hour later, um, it's my hands, I feel my hands again. Um, they still kind of like, you know, my body's still like in pain kind of. Well, the swelling and the, um, and the discomfort of like not being able to move it with my fingers and stuff went away. That being said, um, it definitely probably was an allergic reaction. Fast forward to this morning didn't take any more medicine because I was still kind of good like I started my boyfriend pointed out we were about to like do something and then um he pointed out that I had like a kind of like a red mark on my lip down here you know what no I look and it's just red like there's no mark there's no like nothing like you know first you get like a little like look looks like a breakout when you get a cold sore or something and as soon as he says it though as soon as he puts it down I go check on it like and then I start feeling I start feeling itchiness and like, I wake up the next morning you guys this is how my lips looked um i was so scared because like i had never that had never happened to me before with hives along my sides the sides of my arms um my hips uh, i kind of seen a little bit peeking through like my thigh a little bit i just take the medicine again and like my lips are a little bit bigger than normal if you could tell if i scratch i'll probably like break out in hives but been trying to not scratch at anything my oh my forehead too my for do you see you see that like red splotch right there yeah so that's what happened my my lips were swollen i was scared i'm still kind of scared because i don't know like i'm afraid like i don't know if this is gonna go down to my throat i, I feel like i shouldn't really be counting on a over-the-counter allergy medicine so today anyways so apart from that um i'm just trying to do like a simple simple look i think i'm gonna do falsies too but i want to do uh like a full face of freckles i was inspired by the filter that i use so i'm gonna see if i could put a little um example right here of the filter i used it while my lip was swollen i'm just gonna do the makeup for it and then i'll do like the butterflies as either like post and then edit, like edit the butterflies. So I'm just basically like dabbing this pencil that doesn't have anything on the tip and it's clean. The, like the product itself will create like a little ball. And that ball that it creates, that's what I'm lightly tapping into the skin. Because like I said, I was not used to, I don't have any allergies really. Like I don't have any allergies besides, um, I think it's um, uh, Robitussin. Oh, that allergic reaction was kind of crazy too. Now that I think about it, kind of weird too. I took Robitussin and I low key took too much. So I think you're supposed to do like two teaspoons. And I had used like the big tablespoons. They're not looking too cute, but let's keep working. I took two tablespoons instead of two teaspoons. And the tunnel was like still like. I think like um, 14, 15, maybe, six, maybe 15, 16. Time, you know, like the, the cough syrup stuff, but nighttime. So it's supposed to make you drowsy and stuff. Like it's supposed to make you be able to stop coughing, make you sleep. I take it, I go to bed, it's a school night. Um, don't really think anything of it. I'm just trying to get some sleep, you know? Like I actually used to look forward to sleep. 
still kind of do. Yeah, these freckles are looking a little cray cray. But so I go to bed and I'm not able to sleep. Like I'm having trouble sleeping. This particular night, like I was like restless. You know when you're tired, you're physically exhausted, but like you're still alert and awake and you can't go to sleep. That's how I was feeling. I'm just chilling there in my room by myself, right? I'm getting freaking um, sleep paralysis every other second because that's how I feel. So whatever I like. I'm not looking that cute, but let's keep going. And on top of all that, my cough is still there too. And then I start feeling kind of weird, like because I'm in like sleep paralysis and all this stuff, and like I'm not really sleeping even though I'm tired. Um, really like not chilling. I finally just like I start thinking like I'm having, I'm having these thoughts like I'm like it was weird like I was having like suicidal thoughts of key but it was so weird like I was just like you know what if I went downstairs right now and grab them I can kill myself right now but I don't know why I was thinking that like I guess like I was literally like 16 and I never had suicidal thoughts before like I'm not I wasn't really like I never no like that's not really like that wasn't me you know um so as soon as I like kind of snap out of it a little bit, I just like call for my grandma. And she eventually comes and she's kind of freaked out too. She doesn't know what the heck is going on. And I tell her, I'm like, yeah, I took the medicine and now I feel weird. And so she tells me I don't end up going to go, go to the doctor instead. I tell her, you know, everything. And then she's like, oh, I think you had like an allergic reaction to Robitussin. Um, she's like, I think you took too much. So I was like, well, yeah, but... What about that shit? She's like, yeah, it's normal. I'm like, how the hell does a medicine give you suicidal thoughts? Like, what? So after that, that's when I really, like, decided, like, yeah, medicine, this, this stuff is not for me. Damn, I really messed up. Right, sorry. My camera kind of ran out of memory, so I just fixed that. But, um, this is what the freckles are looking like so far. I, let's just keep going. Then apply some lash lashes. Um, that. Thing really kind of made me scared of medicine I guess like the generic feel like cheat code like you know what I mean like I, f I don't trust that they've tested on everybody I, don't I didn't do nothing to Becky but just because I didn't do nothing to Becky it's not going to do nothing to me but point of the story is I won't be eating pork rinds anytime soon if not ever Well, I just realized that I hadn't talked the whole time. Lashes are on. Hmm, am I satisfied with this? Oh, we need blush. Oh, let's take Heart Amazonian Clay Blush in Captivating. Ya tu sabes, this is my goal to. Gonna apply that on the apples of our cheeks. Kind of like a cross. I think I've already done this in a tutorial at some point. Highlighter and we're Gucci. Sorry, I'm gonna no mirror. Do a colorful lip. Cupid's bow, like kind of as rounded as possible. That lip line is a little bit on the redder side, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my line and load NYX in Never Listen. And this is how the applicator looks like. pretty much done with this look um and like i said i'm literally 
just super bummy right now. I don't, I don't have anything to go, like, I don't have anywhere to go. Any but yeah, here's the finished look. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I mentioned, there's a lot coming this fall as far as me and my brand and projects on the way. So please make sure to drop a like, excuse my fingers, drop a like, drop a comment, share this post with your family. Sígueme en las redes sociales. Deja de saber a tu familia que tú me apoyas y que quisiera comprar una camisa mía. If you want to buy a shirt, make sure to click this link right here. Or go ahead, go down to the description box and click on the link where you can purchase my Bebecita shirts, which are pictured right here. Um, I worked really hard on creating the logo and I wanted something that really identified as me. Um, so I'm super excited to finally launch the so pre-orders are available right now So you won't get your shirt for a minute, but we will be donating 10% of all profits to the global giving foundation which is going towards badly affected by hurricane durian right now Emergency management has a special place in my heart and it's very very hard to deal with natural disasters so it has a lot of personal connection me being uh, from Miami and having a live through Katrina and Wilma and a few other hurricanes so that's why um, the price is a little bit bumped up because I do want to maximize that um, because you really do need a lot of help if you are trying to support and trying to help out as well make sure to buy a shirt make sure to rock it and make sure to tag me so that I can repost you and we can have a little talk okay, follow me on Instagram Go ahead and make a YouTube account because I will be uploading to there soon and it'll be actual content that might help for all my 420 buddies. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys have a great, safe rest of your week. Remember, que voy a hacer? Aquí tiene una amiga siempre. Talk to me, háblame, déjame saber lo que te gusta, lo que no te gusta. Muchísimas gracias por el apoyo. Ojalá que pronto me siento cómoda suficiente para Puedo hacer un video en español. Si me apoyan y son de otro país, déjame saber en los comentarios y déjame saber qué quieres ver la próxima vez. Let me know what you want to see next on my channels. With that being said, chao, babies.